Welcome to my video about my newest Da Vinci Mother Violet palette. I would like to begin by sharing with you how my unique mother color mixes came to be. I am very attracted to the subjects I find in the landscape and in order to paint them in an entertaining way, I use a variety of warm and cool greens. In contrast to bright colorful greens, I also use a palette of quiet peaceful color, a subdued kind of color that provides places of respite for the viewer's eye. It is this powerful contrast of bold versus soft color that can easily turn ordinary subjects into compelling works of art. Needless to say, I was thrilled when Marcello, owner of the Da Vinci Paint Company, offered to replicate my mother color recipes for me, and these two pre-mixed colors, Mother Green and Mother Violet, have greatly simplified my personal painting process, and I'm sure it can simplify yours as well. Watch all of my videos to see how I use these unique mother color palettes to create the signature look my paintings are known for. Before demonstrating how I mix and use my new mother violet color, I would like to share with those who may not be aware of my first mother green palette. Both my mother green and mother violet colors are essential to the signature look and feel my work is known for. I would also like to share with you this example of how I might use my Mother Violet color. In this example, I did a wash with the Mother Violet color, and then while that wash was very wet, I dropped in pure color from my palette, pure unmixed color, like alizarin crimson, permanent rose, benzamita orange, manganese blue, and possibly some cobalt blue here. And you can see how beautifully the Mother Violet color subdues this color into soft, glowing passages. Marcello has greatly simplified my process by taking my recipe and making these two unique blends of color for me. This is the sample I just received. This is Mother Violet. I'm going to start by mixing up some of this mother color all alone by itself. It can be used, it's so beautiful that it can be used just as a standalone color with nothing mixed in it. I always fully load my brush so that I have juicy strokes and then I use the brush uh, on its side often so that I can cover as much area as possible and making as few strokes as possible. You don't want to retouch these strokes once you put them down because you will disturb the pigmentation that is starting to become obvious. So if you look closely, you can see the granulation. As this begins to dry, if I continue to stroke over it, I will lose this beautiful effect. The first mixture I would like to show you is what happens when you apply permanent rose to the mother violet. So here is my first wash of mother violet. And while it's still very wet, I can add permanent rose to it and you'll see how beautifully it can blend. So we're going to let that happen. We're not going to touch it anymore. We're going to let it move and do its own thing. Next, we're going to add benzamita orange to the Mother Violet color. I'll go ahead and lay down another wa very wet wash of Mother Violet. You can see this is a little lighter because I have more water in it. You can lighten and darken these values as necessary. And as long as it's wet and soupy, you can apply paint. Now, we're going to add benzamita orange to this base color and you'll see a whole different look. I'm going to lay down the base color Mother Violet in this third square and we're going to be adding raw sienna to it. 
We'll mix up a little bit of raw sienna. And while this is nice and wet and can move, we'll add this additional color to it and you'll see the difference. Now we'll use cobalt blue added to the mother violet. Let's mix up a little more mother violet. And we're going to add a little bit of cobalt blue to this mother violet base and you'll see how beautiful it will look. Now let me show you what happens when we add viridian to the base mother violet color. A fully loaded brush. As few strokes as possible. A whole unique color happens. Next we're going to drop in alizarin crimson to the mother violet base. Now we're going to pick up some of this alizarin crimson. And we're going to spread this through. And we're going to let it move in its own way, its own time, to make a unique and beautiful color. Let's lay down this mother violet base. Let's make that a little juicier. Let's get a little more moisture because I want this next color to be able to move nicely through it. So let's put a little more moisture here. Can you see that added moisture? If the next color can't move, it will just be a blotch. So here's the Hansa Yellow Deep. One stroke and then we'll let it blend. Let's lay down another base of Mother Violet. And you know, I see that I accidentally forgot to pick up some vermilion. So I'm going to use that now. It is especially pretty and gives a whole different look. Another layer, another square of Mother Violet. And this time we're going to pick up some ultramarine blue. And let's see the look we get with. And now we will drop in some manganese blue into this mother violet. Let's mix up a little right here. You have a lot of mixing spaces in this small palette. Here we go. Now we'll let that move and do what it does. Watercolor does this beautifully. I hope this demo has illustrated the beautiful blends that can be created when using my Mother Violet color as a base. And when using my Mother Green palette and Mother Violet palette in combination, you will be able to create works of art with endless color possibilities. I hope you have found useful information in this video. I know I have enjoyed sharing it with you. In closing, I would like to again express my sincere gratitude to Marcello, owner of the USA-based Da Vinci Paint Company, and his team for creating these two awesome little palettes and also for giving me the chance to share with you just how easy and convenient my Mother Green and my Mother Violet palette is for mixing beautiful transparent color that literally glows. I would also like to let you know that I have lots of new educational videos, 
books and guides over on my website for those of you who would like to learn more about how I go about creating works of art. Finally, and most importantly, I want you to know that my heartfelt appreciation goes out to each and every one of you for your continued interest and support of my work, and I absolutely know for sure that none of my many artful blessings would be so without you. Thank you.